uric acid used to only be spoken of in reference to gout, but like most things, it's not as simple as that, especially when you consider that uric acid can act as both an antioxidant in the blood and as a pro-oxidant, a generator of free radicals, when it gets inside our cells. This strange paradox of uric acid increasing oxidative stress through free radical damage may be related to other studies which have revealed that elevated uric acid levels may be linked to various health problems such as heart disease and kidney problems, prediabetes and diabetes, liver problems, elevated bad cholesterol and triglyceride levels, and even not living as long as those who have lower levels of uric acid. Pretty scary, right? Now, if you get your uric acid levels tested, a normal level is usually seen as less than 6.8 on a blood test, and anything above 7 is usually considered abnormal and may lead to side effects. However, further complicating this issue is that many in the medical community don't consider high levels of uric acid a disease-causing state, and the reason given is that it's so common in the general population. As such, doctors normally don't test for it. Go check your own blood test. You probably will not see uric acid levels tested. So if you have elevated levels of uric acid, besides eating a plant-based diet, because vegans and vegetarians tend to have lower urate concentrations, what are some other natural ways that you can reduce your uric acid levels? From this paper on antioxidant supplements, we find that vitamin C appears to lower both the production of uric acid and increase uric acid removal from the body. Also interesting is that when researchers look at men who have gout, a condition caused by high uric acid levels, they find that those who consume more vitamin C tend to have lower risk of getting gout. Now that's all fine and good, but let's remember it's just an association. It doesn't prove vitamin C benefits people who have gout. And then there is also this investigation showing no effect on uric acid levels in people who had gout who took 500 milligrams of vitamin C each day for two months. However, all hope is not lost. In this paper, researchers analyzed 13 previous vitamin C uric acid studies and the dosage used right in the middle of all of them was 500 milligrams a day. While overall, the investigators used anywhere from 200 milligrams to up to 2,000 milligrams a day. And these researchers noted when they cranked the numbers that in eight of these 13 trials, vitamin C supplements led to about a 35 point drop in uric acid levels after just 30 days polyphenols, plant-derived compounds from apples, have also been tested for their effects on uric acid. In this investigation, 62 overweight people with blood sugar problems were given either a placebo or 300 milligrams of apple polyphenols each day for two months. Here it was reported that apple polyphenols lowered uric acid levels by about 14% and reduced free radical production, and also the people experienced lower blood sugar levels as well. Tea, such as green tea and black tea, contains thousands of bioactive compounds, such as catechins and flavonoids, which can inhibit xanthine oxidase, an enzyme that makes uric acid. In studies involving healthy people, green tea has been shown to significantly reduce uric acid levels after just two weeks. Black tea has likewise also been shown to reduce uric acid levels by between 7 and almost 10% in people who have high uric acid levels to begin with. And for those who prefer to drink coffee, there is also evidence that drinking coffee might not only lower uric acid levels, but may also prevent gout as well. Interestingly, however, the type of coffee you drink may matter. In this study, 51 healthy men were given caffeinated coffee or decaffeinated coffee for a few weeks. It was discovered that decaffeinated coffee reduced uric acid levels in those who had elevated levels to begin with. I've highlighted that in yellow. However, in those people who had normal uric acid levels, highlighted in red, caffeinated coffee did the opposite and appeared to raise uric acid levels. So if this investigation is to be believed, 
Those who want to drink coffee to lower their uric acid levels may want to choose decaffeinated coffee. Keep in mind, however, that not all studies agree with this, so you may have to do some experimenting on yourself to see what works for you. Curcumin, an antioxidant substance found in the turmeric spice, when researchers gave curcumin to people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, they discovered that it not only reduced uric acid levels, but the curcumin also significantly reduced cholesterol and bad cholesterol levels and triglycerides too. In contrast, uric acid levels actually went up in those who were not taking curcumin supplements. Keep in mind, however, that not everybody agrees that curcumin or even turmeric impacts uric acid levels, so I think more research is needed on this. Probiotics have also been investigated. In this study, researchers purposely raised uric acid levels in rats and gave them either cream of wheat, which in theory shouldn't do anything, or a combination of strains of lactobacillus bacteria, one of which also contained curcumin. FYI, a patent application has been submitted, and incidentally, the research study was also supported by Kaibo Biotech, a supplement company that also makes a kidney disease supplement called Renadil, which I previously reviewed, and I will link to that video in the description of this one so you can check that out. Okay, so what happened here? So it's reported that both kinds of probiotics reduced uric acid accumulation and enhanced its excretion from the body. And in addition to that, the formula that contained the probiotics and curcumin appeared to provide even greater benefits. So this is an interesting study, but let's keep in mind that rats are not people. So this study needs to be replicated in humans to get a better idea of what's happening. We also have this investigation where men and women with elevated uric acid levels were given 10 ounces of regular yogurt or yogurt that was enhanced with strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. So these researchers noted that the enhanced yogurt significantly lowered uric acid levels and as an added bonus, it also improved insulin sensitivity as well. In other words, the insulin work better at lowering blood sugars, which should be good news for people with type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. Eating cherries and drinking tart cherry juice has also been shown in some studies to lower uric acid levels. And similarly, good news if you like lemon juice, when researchers gave people with high levels of uric acid just one ounce of lemon juice a day, they saw significantly lower uric acid levels after just six weeks. Other investigators have reported that the Mediterranean diet also appears to reduce uric acid levels to normal after just two months. So what have you used to lower your uric acid levels? Let me know below. And until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.